Hi everyone, Thini here. We are doing another spooky game for Halloween. This one is a board game app called Mysterium. It's Mysterium is a game where there's so many psychics and a ghost and the psychics are trying to figure out who killed the ghost. Uh, this is a completely co-op game. The ghosts can't talk. They give um, dream cards, trying to give the hints. And first you figure out the person, the place, and the object. And then after everyone figures it out, then the last stage is figuring out who actually did. Because you get all the different people who could have done it, and then it's who did do it. So we're going to hop right in. We're going to do the story mode. I know how to play this game. But I think the game... Oh, do I have to create my appearance? Scotland, a cold September night in 1921. The police have just discovered a new body in a small town in Warwick country. The latest in every increasing numbers of bodies found despite the, oh, the authorities' best effort, the fear felt throughout the continued grows. The body is kept, I don't like how fast this is growing. Ugh. Okay. The fear throughout, throughout the townspeople continues to grow. The bodies kept piling up as the weeks went on and the police weren't getting anywhere. The arrest of a chimney sweeper caught red-handed at the scene of a crime made little difference. He claimed to have no memories of the murder he had just committed. He was charged with each of the murders and thrown in prison. The town was relieved, thinking they could rest to eat, could rest easy. Still, the murders continue. A few weeks later, a witness, a waitress was arrested for stabbing a young local journalist with a butcher knife. He barely survived and the witness was sent to prison. The waitress was sent to prison. Like the chimney sweeper, she ass asserted that she didn't remember a thing. After meeting with them, the pair parish priest concluded they had been possessed by an evil spirit. It was the Con Conrad McDowell, a distinguished psychic from the region, came to settle in a local manor, had recently inherited, or horrified by the recent events, he decided to conduct his own investigation. Convinced that it was supernatural was the key to the mis mystery. Given the complexity of this case, he called on his fellow psychics Alfon de Belacris, Alma Salvador, Madame Wong, Addresser, and Jas Jaslyn Smith to help him, help him. As their journey would take several weeks, Connor decided to meet with the young journalist, Nathan Coral. He claimed to have heard the voice of the dead since the stabbing, which led him being committed to a... Com a mental institute. Connard was the only one left who believed the young Irishman and used his influence to free Carol from the institute. He detected psychic in talents within Nathan and watched, wanted to take him under his wing to help him conduct investigation of trouble theories of murder. Okay. Alright. You're... You're new to this, but you're you're going to be fine, so don't worry. Just trust your gut. Don't be afraid of anything that might happen. Oh, he's not in the game. Nathan, it's not that I'm afraid, sir. Few things could scare me after the short time I spent in the asylum. I'm quite happy to know I'm not crazy, but still don't understand how this works. Let's see. Well, we will attempt to come into contact with a ghost. The deceased, Mr. Reimer. He'll see where the leads us. Nothing special, really. I have a vision. Let's check this case. Our goal is to help the ghost find the killer by guessing the correct suspect. Location and weapon. Okay. This is your icon. Okay. The ghost will send you vision cards to vaguely hint at who the killer is. Select the vision, the small vision card to see the month get big. Okay. Oh. This is a list of susp of suspects. Select the suspect to see a bigger version. Oh, I see. Note that each psychic has their own suspect. 
The ghost's memory is unclear, so you need to help them narrow down the list of suspects first. The vision card has blades on it. Maybe the ghost is hinting at something connected to knives or razors. Find a suspect who is related to the image. When you're ready, choose button. So, like, this guy. So, what's this? There's birds. Oh, and there's more knives here. So, I would choose him. So, we have uh, a nun. Use, uh, a may or... Uh, Musician, a magic person. Hey, this is kind of, oh, okay. And then a teacher, so this is the best we can choose. You have only two minutes to make your decision after the ghost gives you a vision card to all the psychics. Use this time wisely. All psychics made their decision. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. These are the results of all the psychics. Yes. Icons on the green track represent ghosts or psychics who have guessed correctly and moved to the next section. Icons on the red track represent psychics who have guessed wrong. So the goal is everyone... Once someone guesses their thing right, the next round, they'll go... They'll be guessing the next thing. So, like, now I guess the right person. I will get a location... Hints for location. While... Um, my other teammates who guess wrong will still get hints for a person. They actually don't lose their, um, vision cards. The thing is, is we all see the same people and we'll get vision cards. So sometimes people will guess the same person, but only one can be right. So now here I'm on location while they're still on people. Six hours later. Oh, and this is the timer we have. We have only eight rounds. Yeah. Guess right, my friend. Now guess the location where the murder takes place. You have a vision. So this is kind of a statue here. If you want to see very small details, click on the card and hold. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Well, there's a dragon. That's cool. There's a lot of kind of statue things. I'm kind of hint looking at this. Because, yeah. The other thing is we have a kitchen. It could be this, though. But for now, I'm going to guess that. I was wrong. Okay. Since I was wrong, I'll get another clue. So there's animals and music. So, with this, I actually now think this is my guess. This is grayed out. Now, this could still be for him. We're both right. I don't even know what his is. So now we're both on guessing. And then the round counter picks. We have four hours left. Let's see. Great, now we're guessing murder weapon! You have a vision. So there's animals. There's a sword there. There's water. I'm going with this right now, but it could be that. Maybe. Strange. There's a sword here and there's a sword there. Oh yeah! Okay, since, since now we both have guessed or gone off before we ran out of time. Now, we have our suspects. We have... Now that we have narrowed down the list of possibilities with the fellow psychic, it's time to find out the circumstances of the murder that took place. So each of these clues, one of the combined tells us the true story. So each clue is representative of one thing. The ghost gave us three hints. Each card represents a suspect, a location, or a weapon, like I said. Choose wisely. You have only one try to guess correctly. Select the culprit you think is right and then use your choose button. Devote a secret. You will not be able to check. So usually, so before all the other rounds, we could chat with the other psychics. See, like their clues and our clues. It's like, well, yours looks more like this while mine could be this. Or if you got things that are very similar, you're like, well, yours fit better with that. I'll guess someone else. That's usually how this goes. This should not be timed, though. So we have this, which could be the weapon, but the tower. 
Let's see. This is very dark, so it could be this. And then there's a lion here that could be represented. So the goal... Otherwise, the other thing... Oh, no. Lion for this. Um... Knives for maybe this. And so this kind of fits more here to me, because... What? There's sword, 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 and lion. I don't know how I could get this, so I'm going to choose that. Revealing the true culprit. Oh, we were right! Yay! Now we close the case. Nathan Carl Journals. Suspect 1921. That was quite a disturbing night with Mr. Doc McDowell. He established a link with the spear of the deceased Mr. Reimer. The murder of the local nobleman had remained unsolved by the police, but we were able to discover the culprit thanks to the spear. It was the town barber, Mr. Boyd. Like the others, he was no had no memories of the night of the crime. Perhaps we can solve this mystery by questioning the spear of the other victims. Okay, so there's a couple. Alright, let's see what this one unlocks. Nathan Carwell Journal, September 1921. Today, Mr. McDonald and I went to the train station to meet with Miss Miss Althans, the Bugers. The two men are long time friends and his help will be invaluable in solving this crime. Mr. De Bacor is a famous numerologist and a French um Aristocat, whose fame extends beyond borders. The death of his brother during the Great War devastated him, which led him to seek comfort in his mathematic research. He discovered the numbers have remarkable proper properties for those who can decipher them. His abilities and presence are impressive. I look forward to seeing his mastery of numbers and actions during the next session. Harry maintains that you are promised like tonight we will continue your training it's a great honor to work with you both glad you realize how lucky you are without further ado let's begin i have a vision so i have in this case it's quite difficult to help the ghost you must remain clairvoyant points the more clairvoyant points you have the more vision cards you get in the last phase of of the case You'll earn more climbing points by finishing the case quickly or by voting on other players. This icon means that the psychic has chosen their cards. Select their icon. So he chose the bell. So we can... What do you want me? Drag the green token to the psychic icon. How do I drag it? Or choose... If you agree, or choose the red one if you don't. Okay, so we will choose... Oh, no. Okay, and then back to mine, we got... Oh, it's a lady with metal. Let's see. Ooh, we're gonna go choosing that. Uh, did you choose anyone? Uh, we... So we'll get these back in a certain round. Sure. Oh, I was right. Cool. I got a point. But I don't get that back until... I think round four. Six hours left. Oh, no. That was the little icon shown when we get him replanted. More climbing points you earn, the more greater visions you'll get in the last game phase. Climbing tokens replenished at the start of round four. So, by round three, you should make sure you vote no matter what on someone. You have a vision. I have water. And more water. So it's either this or this. So this has all the boat stuff. Let's see. I'll choose this. Did you guys choose? Um I don't think you're right. I'm going to choose wrong on you. Uh, I got time still to think. And I 
actually think you're wrong too. Let's see. Oza! <gasps> Yay! The best part is that as people get it right, things will um come off. So they're often do I got a hat. A hat. Oh, but there's silverware in there. Can you see? Yeah, okay, we'll choose that. Okay. Uh, there's crystals and eggs. That's actually a good guess. And yes, I agree with you for sure. Let's proceed. And now I get all my guesses back. So now... I'm done. So... My tokens have refilled. And now... Make sure you vote on Clare. So now I gotta make sure I vote on people. I think that's where I think that's more this. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, and you see how that's grayed out? It's because I've already voted on that. It has a single rope, but I like this better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It has a rope in there. It has a single rope, but this feels more like this to me. I'm gonna just do both. Okay, here we go. Nope, they were both right. Okay, so we don't get any more points. We only have the 10. Okay. We move on. How many clues do we get? I get to see three cards. They only get two because of how many cards they guess. So, I see all three of these. I see a hair, hot air balloon. And a bike. Okay, this is kind of where I'm going with. And this could be for the rope. Oh, and he has bagpipes. Kind of... Okay, I'm going with this. The other option... Because I can connect this with the guy. This with the location. That with the object. This doesn't have to be in any order. It could be random. But that's my guess. The two people have vote on here. That's wrong. Okay. We did it! Close the case. Nathan Drew is September 1921. How wrong I, I was. Thinking Mr. Doug was a cold and ignorant man. He is flawless. Focus and of, of remarkable intelligence. Thanks to his psychic gifts, we solved this case. It was, it was Mr. Millen, the bagpipe player, who murdered that poor stranger as he walked through the woods near the town. I still can't believe this sort of thing happens here. Combining our efforts has at least allowed the victim's soul to rest in peace. Okay. Die another time. Okay, we're almost... Okay, let's do one more. And then at least we get some. Nathan Carlos Journal, September 1921. Mr. Alma Salvador arrived from Spain today. What an inter interesting woman. She told me a story. Orphans as a child. The orphan as a child. She was brought into a convent. She realized her second gift at eight years old when she found a pendulum left behind by a visitor. She used the gift to find a f the familiars of the others left behind by a visitor. She wait, oh. She used the pendant to left behind by the visit. She used the gift to find familiars of other orphans until the nuns learned of her activities and expelled her for witchcraft. She can find the soul of any human being. She told me something strange. She said that my soul seems different from others. That a mysterious power seems to come from me. She must tell me more during the next set. Seance. Tonight's case is very difficult. I already tried to contact the ghost. The victim was a sailor from Finland, okay? We need someone who can channel the spirit of spirits to strengthen his presence, but none of us has a talent to do so. You're wrong, my dear Conrad. I can feel Nathan has a very strong connection to the hereafter. I suppose his near-death experience must have affected him. 
From that moment I have arrived, I felt a strange aura around him. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm missing something. You want me to get possessed by a ghost of the sailor? Oh, so now I'm going to play as the ghost character. No one can make you do this, Nathan. However, if you want to find the killer, we, we don't really have a choice. Madame Salvador, is this true? Unfortunately, yes, my dear Nathan. I see. I'll do it. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. When you wake up, you will be on the other side. Don't fret, my dear boy. I will guide you. You will hear us talking, but you will not be able to speak yourself. The land of the dead is the land of silence. You are now playing as the ghost, so I'll get the psychic cur correctly suspects is highlighted with the red the f with the red flames. These are vision cards, and I can dr try to drag a the suspect with the vision card that's suitable. Okay, so we have him. So they're saying this one because this has kind of like a gun. And then send the vision card to the psychic by using the sending card. So I can drag multiple if I want to. So now, notice that you received a new vision card in place. So I'll always have seven cards. Now help by selecting the psychic icon. So he has the chef. A chef. Okay. Now I don't have to do them in this order. I can actually move on. So a doctor. Hmm. Whew. This is not going to be easy. So we have this lady. We have the cop. So it's also good to see what other people, because you don't want them to guess. So we have a chef. I could do the animals. Maybe that's a cookbook. But the question is, will the NPC get what I'm trying to say? Oh man. And then you got ravens that will let you discard as many cards as you want. Okay. I'm gonna give this and maybe that. Okay. And I'm trying to go with fishing things to cook with. Now I have a doctor. Oh god. Oh, what did he guess? Oh, he guessed? Oh no, I don't know what they guessed. In the game, if it's a board you game, you'll see what they're guessing and all that. So, clothing and her. So I, what do I... I don't have anything good. Can I use a crow? Can I use a crow? I hate these. Okay, I'm gonna go with this, saying the doctor can help with the first aid of hit that person being bit. They weren't good. So now I have to wait to see- <gasps> You guessed right! Were you the doctor? Good job. Good job. This is much harder. So now, he's guessing a location. Help the psychics guess the location. I didn't even get you to guess. Oh, you're getting this. Yes. I feel confident with you now. Oh, you had the doctor. I don't even know what you had. Outdoors. Um... Okay, this is the only place outside, so I'm gonna... I don't want him to guess this, so we're just gonna go with this. Oh, and that. Okay. And now her. A doctor. Oh, that had the cannon. Okay, that makes sense. No, he guessed this. Oh, I see who they've guessed, I think, right there. Uh... Okay, so he guessed her. 
That's okay. So now I know he guessed her with the keys. What were... I gave that. I don't want to give that. Mm, we'll give... Because of time. Oh, I don't... That's really hard. Oh, they both guessed the same person? No. One of them will get through. Oh. Okay. I have to make sure she gets through now. But I do have time. If it gets to here, it gets dangerous. Okay. Now help them guess the weapon. I don't have anything good for that. Okay. Third book. Okay. I want you... I don't know how to get you guess the doctor. That really sucks. Um... Okay. That kind of works with the statues. We'll go with that. And now I want you to guess a gun. I could say pirates have guns. Is there any rope? No? Okay. Let's see if this works. Okay, they better use up their token things. Everyone guessed! Yay! This ghost would be hard being with AIs is hard. Now, I will say, when I play this physically with my friends, there were certain things that we, like, always got. Okay. Rope. Rope. Maybe this. I'm gonna go with that. Now, what's your weapon? Oh, the kitchen. You, you need food. Okay. I want to see... I don't know. And then I'll give you a rat. Here we go. They only got one compliance point. They should have been using them, but this is the AI. Hey! Everyone got it! Okay. I don't know how they decide with the AI for this part. Three hours left. A stool. I'm giving you this. Yes. Now the thing is, which I should have been trying to be careful with, is I need cards for okay, the last round. One card for each person. So what's going to happen here is it's going to pick randomly telling me, here's the lineup. Okay. And the culprit... Okay, so I'll have to put a card for each one of these down. Like this. Let's see. Um... Oh. I don't have anything for the car. I really don't have anything for the car. Uh... So, can I see the other options? Okay. The worst part is, if you actually play it physically, you could actually see the other options so that you could give clues based off of that. I don't want to do the shed. I think one of them has been... And I don't want to do that for sure. Okay. What's like a cop? Okay, we're gonna go with military or protecting the force. I don't think that's good. There we go. So this is like, I was trying to avoid anything cooking related. Okay, two of them guessed this. Uh, oh no, they all did. Okay. So I did it. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if you could fail that, truthfully, since this is kind of a tutorial. Nathan called a journal in September 1921. Mr. Salvador brought me back to the world of the living, and I couldn't remember anything. It wasn't. It was Mr. Colador who told me what happened. Miss uh, Marple, the police inspector who saved me after my attack turned out to be a culprit, who shot the poor Finnish sailor three times. Once again, the murderer couldn't remember a thing, just like me after this sen that seance. All I can remember are fleeting sensations, coldness, fear. I hope I never have to relive that experience. Okay. Man with an amulet. Okay, so, wow, this is, let's do one more scenario, and then next time I'll, we will do the others. And it's all the same here. After the last seance, I spent a week in bed, exhausted. Mr. McDowell and his friend have been very consider considerate towards me, and here I am, back on my feet, just in time to welcome another psychic known as Adresher. Hailing from Ottoman Empire, his talent for divination is multiplied by his talisman, Emilaji, a powerful artifact which has been in his family for centuries. He has visited no numerous countries and met with leaders from all over the world. I must admit, the feeling hit humbles me. I have bad news, Nathan. The victim is again one of the foreign origins and is too weak to communicate. We're going to need you again. You must be joking, right? I've just recovered from a pre previous seance. I would never joke about such a thing. There are no matters more serious than the matter of th the dead. All right, I've done it before. I can do it again. Let's get this over with as quickly as possible. So now, oh, now I have a single crow. Crows let me discard everything in my hand. Okay, so she owns a store. Okay, let's see. Oh, swords and weapons. I will give you this. Yes. Mailman. I'm gonna give you... What was this one? And, oh, you will get this. Okay. So we have that. Or this. I'm gonna give this... Because someone who travels a lot. And the other... That's a vehicle person. That could be dangerous. But we'll do it this way. And now... The store owner. I'll give these two cards. Because they own a store. So it's a grocery store. But I don't have anything food related. See how good I did there. Okay, he guessed right. They both guessed this. So all but the uh, math mathematician move forward. Okay. That's good, that's good. I like this part because I don't feel stressed because of that two minute marker. Sometimes vision cards do not match. You'll want new ones. The, the crow can help you get rid of these cards just like by selecting the crow. Do I have to? Pick the card you want to extinguish. Select the cards you want to get rid of. Select OK, and the card will get rid of them. Let's see. Oh, can I only get rid of one? Pick a card you want to... Okay. Crows are rarely... Com to use them wisely. I I didn't really want to use the crow, but the game forced me. Okay. You get that. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'll give you that. Yeah. Alky Hall. What was yours? A kitchen. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Wish I had that crow that they forced me to get rid of. A 
alcohol. I don't know what looks like alcohol here. Gotta be careful. I don't want to use garden scenario. The stereo. Stereo? Okay, let's see if I can get... Okay. Got a bird here. Got food. Oh man, these are all bad. They're gonna get backed up from that. Eh. Did I get something better? There's rats. There's... Alcohol. Water. Right, let's try that. Oh, that was so bad. Okay, so... One place... Yeah, I knew someone was gonna guess that stupid bathtub. Oh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I got a crow, cool. Don't know how often I get them, but okay. Kitchen. Why do I have a rug? Oh, there's... Oh, you got that? Take this. That's like perfect. Oh, you have kitchen? I want to give you this. A gun. Sure, have that. Poison. I want to leave the snake for that. So, he's... Well... Oh, he guessed one that he won't, won't use. There's alcohol there! You think they'll get it? Eh. That was so bad. I feel bad. He got it, though. Everyone thinks they got it. He, They think he gets wrong. What's this? Oh, she's completed. That's what they move it there when she's completed. Okay. Got two clamboyans. And now they get their tokens back, so they should have used it. Can I... I can't use mine. Yeah. Okay. He has a statue. Okay, what do you have? A box. And you? Poison. Take the snake. A box. It has treasure in it. And it kind of has a wooden door. A statue. Is heavy. Oh. There you go. Now that was kind of dangerous, but I have a crow, so now I can use that in the last round. Uh, blue. Yeah, blue's right, for sure. Everyone moved forward! Yay! But it looks like most of them are only getting one um, card viewing. Okay, line up my suspects. Mm-mm-mm, you're all so bad. Can I only pick one? <gasps> okay, this let me pick multiple, okay. Anything I can think of? Kinda think of that. Poison. So I'm going with that because it's a woman. Can I see the other... Oh, this is how I do see that. Okay. So you can see the other. So this was the last one that used. So I can't... I don't want to use... Oh, food one, of course. I might be endangered here. Okay. But this is like food poisoning. Now, how do I guess a church lady? This is what I wanted before. This is great. Oh, I don't think we're going to get this, guys. Um, 
So this is supposed to be the underground area, which might help because that doesn't look like anything else, really. Though that could be a kitchen. Someone might think it's a kitchen. Oh, we're just gonna go with that. I don't have any good ones. Oh, let's see. Oh, they all voted for the right one. But once again, this could be because it's the tutorial. Because if they guess wrong here, we all lose. This is very unusual. Nathan should not be able to summon the crow. Crow help only the dead. I also thought it was peculiar. I have a theory. Step away from Nathan. I will use my talisman to verify something. He, he will not want to hear this when he wakes up. We should... How should I put it mildly? Well, Nathan is dead. Oh. Nathan Carwell Journal. Who could have believed Sister Susan had poisoned the victim? That was the startling discovery we made during the last seance. But that's not all. Astra used his talisman on me. According to him, without a doubt, I crossed over to the world of the dead when the waitress stabbed me. I come back to life without anyone being able to explain why. Astra witnessed this phenomenon before while traveling through Africa. Some shamans are capable of crossing over to the world of the living solely to finish their mission. Does that mean I will die at the end of this investigation? I want to run far away, but I've overcame the impulse. So long as I am still here for a specific purpose, I shall complete my mission. You have completed the introduction case of Mysterium. Now you're fully equipped to play multiplayer. Woo! Congrats for completing the tutorial. As a reward, I have added... Oh! An unlocked one card and unlocked one music. I can have a Ouija board now. I think the Ouija board now could be a murder weapon. Cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And I've completed only four. So yeah. I'll call that a stopping point. At least now you've all learned how to play and got a little taste of this... Um the story. I will complete the the scenarios next time and maybe I'll see if I can play a group of friends and you guys can see how this game can play with actual people and how you can talk and figure things out. I'm hoping you guys enjoy this game. I know I really enjoy the game. Like, I bought it, a physical copy, and every Halloween me and my friends, we try to get together and play it. Especially if you actually read the back of the game, the instructions for like, oh, this is the scenario. You actually takes place on Halloween, October 31st, which maybe this does too. They actually haven't had a date, but since he was out for a week and all that, I don't think that that's how it's going on here. And then that, I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see you next time. Bye.